Tropical Storm Miyagi made landfall in the Philippines this morning and is currently over the Philippines, and it is heading to China next where it could make a very powerful landfall on Friday or Saturday. Based by our analysis, Yagi currently has winds of 50 miles per hour and a pressure of 994 millibars, which is also what the JMA is going with, and it is moving north-northwest at 12 miles per hour. Here is Yagi's current location at 16.4 degrees north, 122.3 degrees east over the Philippine island of Luzon. Here is Yagi's forecast moving off the Philippines here around 24 hours from now reaching typhoon status in about two days and rapidly intensifying to a category three high end category three in the south china sea and making landfall probably as a low end category three here is the wind field the wind field is still fairly small it hasn't really organized itself yet about half the island of luzon last i saw it they're only extending about 35 nautical miles from the center that's what i saw uh, might be a, a more than that, but that's that's the last I saw. Here is what the other agencies are going with. Basically, everybody is in line with 50 miles per hour right now. GFS is going slightly lower with 45 miles per hour. Here is Yagi on satellite imagery. In the most recent frames, actually, if you look, you can see what might be a tiny hint at an eye feature forming, but I I doubt that's actually an eye feature. It could be, but I don't know. But Overall, the storm structure does look very good. The cloud tops are still very, very high, I believe. But the storm in general is starting to look better, which is strange. Typically, storms start to look worse when they move over land, but Yagi is the opposite. It's over the Philippines. It could potentially weaken a little bit over the Philippines, uh, but that's unlikely because most of it will still be over water. But... Overall satellite imagery, it does look very, very good. I can only imagine what's going to look in the South China Sea at its peak intensity. Here is the GFS. Uh, we can look at Yagi here. It's right down here. So, pretty much in line with everyone. Rapidly intensifying there. All the way down to 932 millibars. That would be getting towards a high-end Category 4. Uh, what was that landfall intensity? Um... You see, that'd be around a 946 millibar landfall, which would be a borderline Category 3, Category 4. And then it makes a second landfall, looks around 970 millibars, which would be around a Category 2. And then another strong typhoon there behind it. But we're going to say that for the weather bulletins. That, that storm there forecasting to be wild uh, on last night's bulletin. Satellite imagery, Yagi, he is... Yagi on satellite imagery, cloud tops around the center are not very good, but there's this massive convective burst off to the side that has began ballooning recently, you can see. But that might be a little bit of an eye feature, that's what I was talking about. Uh, I don't know if it actually is. I'm not 100% sure where Yagi's actual eye is, but that's a massive convective burst off to its uh, west there. Uh, those cloud tops there were getting up close to the minus 100 range briefly there. Um, but now they're probably around the low minus 90s, but around the center of the highest cloud tops are only like uh, the upper minus 70s. But that is it. That's our update on Yagi. We started doing YouTube shorts, so, um, that's why it says update two instead of update one. We posted a YouTube short last night on Yagi, so if you want to go watch that, go watch that. But until the next update, like, subscribe, goodbye.